Good morning, folks. It's a day of visuals and surprises in science news today. The sun is pretty quiet at the moment. All activity at the limbs are the far side. And when we come to spaceweathernews.com to see the last day in 193 angstroms, after two coronal hole stream duds, we can say that's unlikely to be the case here. That's a big southern coronal hole extending up to trans-equatorial latitudes. Earthquake watch for excess magnitude peaks over the next 48 hours. Hopefully, these are not the foreshocks. Twin 5.9s this morning off the Oregon coast. Learn more about why those massive coronal holes are earthquake makers at quakewatch.net. Up next, folks, we have the annular solar eclipse coming up here in a few days, but chances are most of you aren't going to see it. It's pretty much visible to the Arctic. Maybe a few folks outside the circle, but in general, those would just be the edges of the eclipse. Animation and more information at the eclipse link in today's list below the video. Up next is Ganymede. We've got another video here detailing the features within and perhaps a bit under its ice water crust. Ganymede has its own magnetic field, is covered in ice as I said, and is one of the best moon targets at the gas giants. Go Juno. A lot of you likely saw the big stellar jet story yesterday. They are surprised to find how different jets would be at different stars, and I genuinely question their certainty about where the accretion disk and current sheet would be. There are a lot of guesses in this one. But if you are attempting to grasp their guesses, I do recommend the actual paper they published rather than the article making headlines. We put that one in the list for you as well. Do you guys remember when they finally added magnetic fields to Nova remnant models and found the dust was trapped in the remnant? Didn't escape? Like, what do you mean you ignored magnetic fields before? Well, up next, we've got one in that same vein. The true complexity of the galactic winds at the core are oversimplified in just about every model. And in this attempt to give it a more appropriate treatment, they're already finding surprises like in the UV and X-ray production from the inner galaxy plasma. Hannes Alfane would be smiling. Now, last but not least, another surprise, but this time beneath our feet. It turns out that the seismic waves seem to indicate that our core is lopsided. Of course, they say it's been that way for half a billion years, but they don't know that. They also say they still can't reconcile the age of the planet's field with this model. They just say, oh, there must have been something else making the magnetic field of Earth billions of years ago. But while they stumble around the article relatively aimlessly, they also mention that it's right under Indonesia where the lopsided protrusion occurs. What a coincidence. That's where the magnetic poles are set to collide in their current ongoing shift. Veteran observers' imaginations are salivating. If you're new to the concept of the poles colliding right there, watch the Disaster series. It's linked below, it's on our channel homepage, and at suspiciousobservers.org. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.